First down. Got the roller coaster celebration. Them cleats hard too. Yeah, they is. Oh, they strapping them in. Yeah. Strapping them in. Oh, I didn't see that. It's a roller coaster ride for deep. See that that's attention to detail. Big boy was the ride operator. That's who got the He got the goal for me. See, that was my first job, so I know about strapping them in. No, you did. Uh-huh. Working at Carewinds. That was my first job too. I know about strapping them in too. <laughs> You see how this is aging so fine. Last week, I had the pleasure of doing a fourth and one with a good friend of mine, Brandon Marshall. We're going on tour, too. We are already are on tour. I am Iconic Live Tour. But... He said this is the main reason why he doesn't like this, because of this right here, right? On Wednesday, we're working on this. Thursday, we're thinking about this. Friday, we're, we're doing it again. It's a distraction. But my argument was like, look how beautiful this is. Like, so much unity is mm -hmm. coming because it, bro. And for people who don't know, one of my producers on my show, I met him at Panthers training camp. So you know Peggy how hard it is, like, just to have that off time, that free time, just to do anything yeah. outside of football. Because training camp is from morning to night. Yes. Yeah, that's it. It's okay. a whole time. It's yeah. a lifestyle for a, a certain period of time. It's dog days. So for me to, to appreciate celebrations, last week we had the C.J. Stroud with the baby boy, you know, knockout. Mm -hmm. To see this um, celebration come to fruition after it being planned out, that's just, that's what the fans want to see. Long story <laughs> short, I love how the Dolphins have made it fun to watch football. Yeah, that's real. That's the thing. People forget that. They talk about it being mediocre. They talking about, you know, this person ain't that good. They talking about there's not 32. Fuck all that. That yeah. right there may have got multiple fans attached for life. That's real. And I would always tease my coaches when they would say this. They would say, when you score, act like you've been there before. I'm like, shit, yeah, you could keep that attitude or you could have this attitude that I had. I don't know if this is going to be the last time Facts. that it's going to be of me scoring. So, shit. <laughs> I got a motherfucking... I'm going to have a dance in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah. Shit, we're going to have some motherfucking fun today, goddamn. <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, did I remind y'all that shit? It's the Christmas edition. Hold on, look at my... Now, the, now, the question is this. What's that? Do you know what movie this is off of? No. Nobody knows this movie? Oh, my God. The leg with the... The leg lamp. The leg lamp. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, little children, dogs and cats. I'm talking about janitors, bosses, and doggone salesmen. Airlift me out the damn ghetto right now. <laughs> right now. The people who I've been entrusting all my content within the last year or so, two years, three years, four years, they too young to understand that this shirt. With the lights and the leg lamp. It's from, uh, 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 uh oh, no, oh, it's not a Christmas Carol. Uh -huh. It's the Christmas movie. No, oh. no, damn. Help us out. Hold on. <laughs> a Christmas story. A Christmas, a Christmas story. story. That's a must see TV. See, let me tell you. Let me take y'all back. This is a Christmas tradition. Uh huh. Every single Christmas leading up to Christmas, there were like the twenty five days of Christmas like ABC or Fox, or oh, they yeah. used to have Hallmark. these movies. You would see like Charlie Brown, you would oh, see yeah. Home Alone. You was, like we had Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2, Home Alone 3, yeah. all the Home Alones, but it just hit different when it was on TV. It did. I wanted to watch all the commercials, so I needed to tell Santa what I wanted for Christmas. I was like, yo, Ma, I want this, but that was when Toys R Us was. Toys R Us. Like, oh, like they would have all these campaign, Macy's would have yeah. all these, these uh, commercials. And I know we need to be talking about football <laughs> and celebrations, but let me tell y'all motherfuckers, 
they don't make Christmas like the, well, yeah. I could dare I say that because my kids kid. are going through exactly. a phase where it's like this is the best time of the year. But, but you I'm Santa like, Claus, so you in a different seat. I, I mean, don't tell them that, but yes. I say all that to say this this the leg lamp was in the movie a Christmas story. It was a big deal because it will always come on the night before Christmas, Christmas mm. Eve. And I will fall asleep. Let's like. Were you one of them kids that was staying up all night waiting for Santa? Hell no, my dad is. <laughs> no, no. Hell no. Go to sleep. Go to bed. <laughs> Man, my dad told me early. Like, I don't know about y'all parents growing up, but Santa to me was just a fictitious. It's been fictitious. Like, I'm sorry for the kids <laughs> who's seeing this. I'm tired. Santa ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> It's your mama, it's your damn daddy. So. Like real talk. Shout out to Cecil Newton Senior. He pulled me into that room and, and my mom hated this name. And still to this day, he still call us. Slim! Yes, Cecil. Stop telling these boys that Santa real. <laughs> Santa ain't real. I'm Santa. She's Santa. Now go on upstairs. It, 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 it that was like at eight, bro. Yeah. Me, and don't be coming around here talking about Santa this. What you gonna tell? Tell me what you want for Christmas, and I might get it for you. I might. <laughs> it's one of them situations. Yeah. Yeah. Who's doing the, the, the disservice to it? Is it the parent or just the understanding too? Because it's like it's the parent. Bro. I was one of them kids that went to school and told man, look, you gotta start. The Easter Bunny ain't real either. Or the two fairies. Hey, you know what I, I was, thought? I was killing everybody. You know what dreams. I thought? What, what was cool though? I just seen this Macy's ad too, where Macy's highlighted Black Santa. Mm. My grandma used to make sure she could get a Black Santa for somewhere. Bro, that shit right there was pretty cool. So shout out to Macy's. Send me a couple gift cards. I appreciate that. It's enough big ass heads in here to go on the Macy's Day Parade with no helium. Um, man, listen, let's we don't belabor the fact. Next topic. Next. This on Bosa. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it wasn't like a real. It's kind of like he slipped. No, nah, bro. It's it was raining. Yeah, it's raining. Like that's shit. That's just a battle. That's good on good. That's what people <laughs> love to see. Good teams matchups. Like, like these guys are 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 why we watch football. Yeah, the real insightful players know. Like, this is the matchup that you want to watch. It's yeah. not just the receiver versus the DP or the quarterback versus the safety. or the Look, it's the game inside the game. Have you ever been blown away, though? Like, even though, because you're so focused on down the field, have you ever seen one of your old linemen just pancake somebody and you just like, damn, and then, like, kind of just, hell no. <laughs> he did his job, and it's yeah. time for me to do my right. job, too. So how did I, like, like it just be so much bull crap that people just be, Saying like, hey, yo, you ever did this while you play? No. <laughs> like, I got four to six seconds to literally get this ball off. Sometimes, shit, when you're dealing with a guy like Nick Bosa, you got three and a half, maybe three seconds. When you make arguments about football to non-football, like, it's just like, doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, you don't know, you're stupid. I'm like, how, how am I stupid? <laughs> it's like telling an educator, it's like, yo, why are you teaching me this? That's stupid. We don't need this. No. I played football literally since the age of seven to 31. 24 mm. years, right? Playing football. Mm. I've been doing this for a long time. For a guy who ain't been playing since his middle school days or his last football game was in high school. How you going to tell me? How to play the game. How to play the game. I was a middle school all-star. You was not. Even with having football analytics or, or or having football talk with certain people, they'd be like, damn, bro, I didn't expect you to. I'm like, what you who think? The who the fuck? What dumb, you think? Dumb? Like, what you think this is? You just think I was just a, a battering ram? Like, don't get it. Man, let me hit my light. <laughs> hit your light on him. Shine your light on him. <laughs> I'm trying to play with y'all, man. Get out my face. Next clip, man. I mean, at the Packers game, with the cheese grater on his head. Oh, that's hard. He grated them boys up, man. Hey, that's what's up, though. That was clever. It was clever in the first quarter. <laughs> but by the fourth quarter, making bold 
like moves like this. That's bold now. I had he got a dollar for every single time somebody probably said, Yeah. How did that cheese grater work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember seeing any fans? Like I know those game days be crazy, but have you seen a fan that's like that sold out like in Carolina or New Yeah, like, we had the uh, the Panther. Oh the oh, dude. Cat Lady. Cat Lady. You remember Cat Lady? What she used to wear? Oh my god, bro. I know it was a, 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 the old dude uh -oh. that with the beard and Cat Man, like the uh Both of them. Yeah. And shout out to them. But this is the Steve Smith. Jordan Gross, Ryan Khalil, Thomas Davis, they would know who I'm talking about. Cat Lady. Uh-huh. And 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 this is I don't know her name. Man, yeah. This is how dedicated she was. I don't know how her face looks. Like the full Every time I saw her, she had face paint on with the whiskers. Like, it's almost like looking at Sting. You remember Sting? Sting, oh, yeah. It's like, if we NW, seen Sting oh. without the paint, it would be Who the hell like, is you? Sting, that's you? And this is why I appreciated her. This is when we were trash. Yeah, she was still was going six and strong. Ten. She was there every single game, every single away game. She was always waiting. Always. I, and, and I didn't know. I was always like... Fascinated by like, like, why are you here? What do you do? Like, what do you really do? Rain, shine, yeah. sleet, or snow? And That's a real fan. for the for the fanatic, this I saw that. Yeah, and, and it was Carolina. Granted, yeah. now we're not talking about the the older uh, franchises, the Chiefs, the Packers, the, the Pittsburghs, the Bears. You know, yeah. this was a the expansion team. Correct, correct, and. This is what makes sports so cool because it means something. Mm -hmm. This was like a 50 year old plus woman who so probably nice. owned cats and that was her and her husband's thing. And everybody, I didn't know her name. It like literally her name was Cat Lady, not Cat Woman. It was Cat Lady. And every single player that I named, they know who Cat Lady who is. Who Cat Lady is. And I don't know, she didn't want money. She didn't yeah. want tickets. I don't know if you know if she went to a game. All she wanted was acknowledgement. Yeah. Man, shout out to Cat Lady, man. Cat Man, Cat Lady, baby. Listen here. If you if you out there and boom, so sweet, the dedication that yeah. she had to the game, it she was so up. beautiful. She showed up. Yeah. Man, we lost. She's there. We won. She was there. You probably and, and, and this is the thing, and this is like a, and I'm going on a rant right here, but that's real friends. Mm. You may not can see the real friends when things are going your way. Correct. Because I never knew if she was there when we won, because so many people were there. Right. Mm. But the real friends. There they gonna go. show when you need them the most. Yeah. And there were games where we lost and we lost and we lost and we lost. And that's how I knew who she was, because she was mm. always there. And I'm and I'm not just saying she wasn't the the bougie fan that was like, right. I'm gonna be there. Oh, it was a close loss. I'm talking about we getting our ass beat. And she still she still showed up. It's okay, Panthers. Coach Rivera know. Marty Herney know. Mm. These folks know, and and all she wanted was just the acknowledgement, like hey, the hug, the hey, cat lady. She was saying, and then, and she just vanished. Like, but so like this message is for not just the cat lady, but the the dedicated extreme fans, rain, shine, sleet, or snow fans. Mm. That I'ma just let you know, fans. Mm. That winning, I want some more fans. Wow. I'm talking about the Cowboys, Panthers, and the Texans fans. The Monday morning, I'm going to be flexing fans. Yeah. Come on, bud. I'm ah. just trying to tell you, man. Ah. Oh, my God. Bars. Yeah. <laughs> Light up. <laughs> Next clip, man. And yeah. hey, we got your boy Gardner Minshew with the moves, doggy. He started off like kind of like wild, and then he got yeah. it together like, yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I'm in my, I'm in my mood. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, not the, <laughs> the, the, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what? Yeah. Indianapolis, y'all don't get no credit with that. 
You know who get the credit for this? Jacksonville. Duval. Duval. Like, man, that's Duval <laughs> right there. He was in, he started off in Indy. You know what I'm saying? He that finished was, in that's Duval. Indy right there. That's typical bar white boy that's in that motherfucker just like, yeah, get wasted. Chuck, Chuck. Now, hold on. That Duval kicked it right Ooh. there. He on Crown Royal now. Uh, he on some hand dog now. Yeah. Hold on. Y'all don't see Anthony Richardson right there with the shoulder. See, look. Boom. Your shoulder really hurt. Uh, 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 uh. Look at the shoulder. <laughs> that shoulder don't damn hurt, man. Look at that, man. Yeah, you think it. The whole time. It's just there. Get out of that, man. Anthony, and look. We got A-Rod damn near making a comeback right now. Shit. Yo, uh, gargantuous ass, like, yo, from Planet Krypton ass. We need to see you, bro. Can't wait to see you. Next clip. Man, we got Grandma. Out there, balling out. Ain't grandma. Watch, check it out. Quarterback. Skates. Oh, not the shy still. Yeah. With the dots. Yeah. Too. Grandma ain't playing with you. That ain't no grandma though. That's, bro, a that's lady. an old lady, bro. Let, let me see. Bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. grandma, bro. Oh, yeah. Walk closer to the screen. Bro. What you got for grandma, man? Shit. Keep balling. Hell. <laughs> Shit. What you want me to tell me, Ma? <laughs> hey, baby, look. We already know you're going to need some Flexol, Tiger Bomb, Icy Hot. Would you let your daughters play in a, a league like this? Yeah. But would you be the coach? I don't like coaching my kids. Yeah, but what about like at home? Would you be like, oh, look? Oh, you, I'm. Oh, that's what. That's that's when you're gonna get them. That's where you gotta really lock in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know they know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you don't gotta say nothing. You see what I'm saying? What the, what the look at the eyes look? The, hey. <laughs> Every parent know when you get that. 15 second stare. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Change the position. <laughs> That's it, right there. <laughs> now, in the back of their mind or in that, you know, on uh, uh, cartoons, <clears throat> I'm so damn childish. You got the right shoulder and the left shoulder. Yeah. That's that left shoulder. Hey! Like, listen here, little motherfucker. <laughs> Look, you keep on with that little damn soft ass shit if you want to. I got some when you get home. Matter of fact, you ain't even gonna make it home. I'm gonna damn take care of this little issue when we get to the doggone car. All these things are just playing while you're like, hey! <laughs> you talking to him. Yeah, you having a full conversation. Right there. You ain't saying that, but y'all communicating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let that fly over your head for <laughs> Look, next clip, man.